Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back for more Dawn Craft. Today we are going to find our 12th eye and get ready to go to the end. We're going to do some preparation if we're feeling it. We might go today. If we get our eye early, quickly, we might go today. So you know what that means. Luck might help us out here. Hit that like button. Give us some like luck. We'll get our eye early and we'll get our booties to the end, which is very exciting. Maybe, hopefully, that's that's the ideal plan, but you know, the best played less played blade the best laid plans of mice and men. Alright. Let's go. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts. So firstly, there is a snow boss that can spawn in cold biomes that has an eye. So we might as well explore this place and see if we can find him. So that's that's plan number one, strategy number one. We could potentially find a cleric as well, but I was really not having any luck looking for clerics. I don't know what they look like with this damn resource pack. <laughs> Oh, perfect. You know, I was just about to say, I know there's a specific structure that I think spawns a cleric or definitely means there's a cleric. I think this structure means there's a cleric somewhere. I think. Could be wrong. Let's find out. Yeah, there wasn't one in there. Basically, I think one of the only clerics that I know for sure that I've seen was in this structure. And there's a brewing stand there. I picked it up. But there's a brewing stand in there, which is a cleric item, right? Hmm, I don't think I found a cleric in this whole village either. Why are clerics so rare? What the hell, man? You're a spooky looking fish. You drop anything cool? Wow. Six food? Oh no, it's six half food. Never mind. Oh, this armor looks cool. Terrible, terrible chest. Terrible helmet. Why is it called terrible? That's funny. Yeah, it's not particularly great. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wait, I think this is what the thing that has the spell guy. Interesting. I actually wanted to find one of these. See what this guy drops. See what this guy's whole dealio is. All right, time for a boss fight. Hello. There he is. How about my? How you doing, bro? You good? Are you ready to die? Easy clap. Totem of banishment, totem of banishment. What is... What is that? What does that do? What? Okay. Does does nothing. Cool. Well, that mystery has been solved. Got a little dungeon underneath filled with rats. Great. Any, anything of interest here? Mr. Quaid the Lame has awoken nearby. Wh where? Hello? Oh, these rats can drop essence. Anything interesting in the sewers? Rat spawner. Oh, there's a tree down here and some funny looking creepers. But no, there is nothing of interest. Does the tree have something in the middle or something? Oh, it does. That's a chest. A mending book. Interesting. That looks like it's probably a guaranteed mending book as well. Based on the way that that spawned. Okay, the mending tree. Interesting. Because I was really struggling for mending at the beginning of the playthrough, so it's nice to know that there's a guaranteed way to get it. Oh my god. You fucking dickhead. This motherfucker right here screaming at me, bro. Oh, I hate it. Really just got me. Alright, we got another, another village here. I think we'll take this waste down. Any freaking clerics in this village, bro? You feel the vibrations under the ice. Wait, when did it say that? You feel the vibrations under the ice. What does that mean? 
Ooh, are you a cleric? No, I think you're a librarian, aren't you? Oh, cleric. Maybe? No? Damn it, they keep getting debated. Oh, poo, there's no clerics there either. Bruh. Deep frozen ocean. Does this count as a cold biome to spawn the cold boss? Maybe? Why are there 12 globes in here? What the fuck? <laughs> you feel the vibrations under the ice that it just appeared again. What does that mean though? You feel the vibrations under the ice. Well, I guess we gotta check under the ice. Oh, it's cold apparently. I'm getting cold damage. Feel the vibrations under the ice. Oh! What is my playing, Subnautica? What is that? Mother of the Maze. What the heck, dude? Okay, it's dead. So, it wasn't particularly scary. What the hell did this just drop? What the heck? That was one creepy ass situation. What was that? Abysmal Amethyst? Okay. Uh, Angler's Fang. What is this? Echo of the Ship Graveyard. If you listen carefully, you can hear the horns of hundreds of ships lost in the ice maze. Okay, does that mean there's some kind of maze down there? I mean, it's what it sounds like. I mean, I should go back down to check. Some cool looking armor. Wow, it takes netherite ingots. And it's just not that great. Plus 25% armor and 4 armor toughness for the full for the half set. When you take fatal damage, your death is delayed for 90 seconds. Huh. But is it inevitable? What is this sparkling noise? What's hitting me? What are these little fairy-like things? I hit it. Did it drop something? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so what's the deal with this ice maze? Do I bother looking underwater for it? Hmm. Like on the ocean floor? I don't really know what Ice Maze is talking about. Oh, what is this dude? Bro, it is Subnautica. What the hell? Creepy ass motherfucker. How much health have you got? Jesus. Alright, I'm getting distracted. And I haven't found an Ice Maze, so... Getting the heck out of here. There's a lot of skellies with crowns. Smoke on the water. Smoke on the water. I actually don't know how that thing goes. And I'm also atrocious at singing. Two eyes of ender. It's pretty decent loot in this boat. Interesting. Oh. Ah. Uh, this is cold biome. Is this lord of sorcery? Oh, this is just the skeleton. Dang it. I thought uh, it might be a boss arena in a cold biome. Meaning that it might have been the dude we're looking for. I'll take you out there quickly. Just a little just a little reminiscing. A little bit of reminiscing. Am I, am I punching him? I'm not punching him. Wait, I'm not even in combat mode. Jesus. <laughs> Poor fella, just got absolutely destroyed. Alright, so this wintry forest, surely this counts as a cold biome, right? Man, I don't know the best way to find this last eye. It's just like, explore a cold biome, explore a desert, or find a cleric. We are not achieving any of these things. Another village here, though. Perhaps, perhaps a cleric? Maybe? Game, please? Huh, TNT. Interesting. Huh. Little TNT dropping thing. Trippy. How much TNT is in there? Eh, some. 
Could be if you didn't have netherite though. Yes, yeah, could be like a nice early game netherite source or a way to farm netherite. What the heck are you doing in here, bro? You were the cold. You were the dead, more like. Oh, I dropped two bows. Wow! Elven bow of the current with power eight? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> this. <laughs> this is my bow. <laughs> Bruh. He did drop one of the infinity power four, though. It's not bad. Imagine he had dropped this. He'd been like, what the fuck? That's insane. But but no, I'm just a silly Billy. Just a silly Billy. Oh, it's a cute little structure. I'm going to steal your eyes. Alright, well, I didn't find any clerics there either. I'm starting to feel like clerics just don't exist. Bruh. I am interested to check the top of this structure. Because this is where I found... A uh, decent diamond helmet, although I had a uh, curse of binding. I want to see if it's a guaranteed spawn up here. Protection four and breaking three, curse of binding. Yeah, interesting. Okay, good to know. So if you're ever in an early game and you find one of these and you don't have a diamond helmet yet, also got looting three and some diamonds and some TNT up here. Yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent loot. Alright, so I found one of these big villager structures. Are there any clerics here? Ah, uh, you're a librarian, aren't you? Getting duped by the- Oh! The fabled cleric! No way! Wait! Why is it so expensive? What the fuck? It's one emerald. Instead of one emerald, it's 64 emeralds? For two redstone? Two? Or 64 rotten flesh? What the heck, dude? Alright, well, we've finally found you, so I'm gonna put you in a box. No, you escaped my box. Back in the box. Dude, stop moving. I've been following this guy for ages, and he doesn't stop moving. It's like he knows, dude. He knows if he stops moving, I'm gonna trap him in a box. Alright, here we go. We finally got him. Nice. Wait. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I broke his brewing stand, but also... Doesn't that mean you can just place brewing stand and create... Clerics? Oh, so it seems that breaking their brewing stand will turn them not clerics, but giving them a brewing stand won't turn them into clerics. Oh, this guy took the cleric job. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, I can't believe that I forgot we can freaking give villagers jobs. I've played way too much RL craft. Oh my god. That is so funny. And the funny thing is, is I've recorded these videos in advance as well. So while I've been looking for clerics, there's probably going to be people in the comments in the earlier videos being like, you know, you can just make a cleric, right? Like, genuinely, you guys are going to think I'm so dumb watching those episodes where I'm looking for clerics for ages. Oh my god. However, yeah, a lot of our own craft, which is 1.12. Villages are different, okay, that's my excuse. Uh, thanks for finding use for all this rotten flesh. God, it takes a while to level him up, and he's so expensive, dude. He's locked up his trade. How do I level him up now? I don't want to spend 64 emeralds per lapis. I don't know what this is. I don't have 16 lycanthrop elixir. Bruh. Are you kidding? I mean, I don't really feel like I need the emeralds. And I really would like to... See if we can get this eye, but Jesus, why is it so expensive? It's not like I have bad reputation. Oh, there's so many emeralds. Oh, no way. We're getting emeralds off of Father Gascoigne. This guy's like one of the best things to farm. You got Sanguisteel Nuggets, you got Diamonds, you got Emeralds. You get the Experience Gems as well. Wow, this guy drops, gives loads of stuff. 
Okay, I mean, that's almost all my emeralds just to try and level this guy up, but we got him, got him leveled, right? You leveled? Do I need to do one more trade with you to get you leveled? No, okay. Now what? Ah, oh, bro, what the fuck? All right, well, we're gonna have to take this guy with us. Why is the trading so expensive? It's stupid. I mean, I understand that reputation has something to do with it, but my reputation isn't bad. All right, so I either need to get an insane amount of emeralds, or I need to I need for him to reset his trade, or I need to find rabbit to to trap and put in the R's farm. But that's not even going to be quick. Like that's going to be slow. Oof. Fuck's sake. Hey, how'd the stalker die? Interestingly, we haven't got any magma creams in here either. Hmm. They're all obsessed with this damn corner. Why don't you guys go over here? I don't understand. I am frustrated. Not going to lie. With my own silliness, my own stupidity with regards to villagers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, rotten flesh is refreshed. We don't have that much left, though. Oh my god, we need to do this trade so many times to level him up. Why are you so expensive, bro? Ah! Alright, screw it. It's time for drastic measures. Hopefully this works. Alright, so we trapped a cleric, turned him into a zombie, we gave him the potion and the golden apple. Hopefully this sorts out our cost issue. Probably could have done that before we spent a bajillion emeralds. But uh, yeah, not very used to 1.16 and beyond villagers. How did they change it? I have literally no idea. Show us how little I know. <laughs> You know, I feel like we can get rid of these guys. We have plenty of the stuff that you drop. We don't we don't need that anymore. I don't think we need anything else from the skeleton either. We've got plenty of bones. What the hell is going on with this guy? Honestly, I think we got another Father Gas going because he's giving us such good loot. I have other guests going in there. Just relax. You can't shoot me, bro. Chill your beans, dude. I'm kind of tempted to put the... Uh, the gas and the blaze away as well. Like, we really just don't need more gas here or blaze rods, I don't think. Zombie doctor. Hooray. Okay, cool. So homie over here has done the thing. Hello, my friend. What are your prices now, huh? What are your prices now? It had no effect. Is that just part of the mod pack? Like, this just doesn't do anything in this pack? Oh, well, we got more weakness potions. So might as well try it again, eh? Alright, let's try this again, Lahoma. Here you go. Have a golden apple. Enjoy. Get our Drigmies back down after we put our ghast away. So there's a stoneling over there, and supposedly, I mean, in previous or other mod packs I've played, stonelings don't run, don't disappear, if you have a diamond in your hand. Doesn't seem to be the case here, though. Kind of odd. Now we've also put capturing on our weapon to try and get some zombie spawn eggs to maybe 
farm some zombies for their flesh. Uh, on the basis that we need a shitload of it to level up our cleric, apparently. Seven cave spider spawn eggs, three silverfish spawn eggs, six thousand spawn eggs, and three zombie spawn eggs. What? These, these chests' loots have definitely been upgraded. That's crazy. Why didn't he run that time? I mean, he ran, but he didn't TP. And I got a heart of diamond. Pog. Cool. Okay. Uh, not that I really need it, of course, because the only thing it makes is the pickerang. However, the pickerang will be super useful in a playthrough where I don't have break, which will be all of my playthroughs moving forward, of course. What's the drop rate for a spawn egg? I've capturing five and I haven't gotten a single one yet. You good, buddy? What the hell? Do you like not take damage? Why is my screen? Oh, wait. Half wither demon spawn egg. Half wither demon? What the fuck is that? What about now, bro? Have you re reduced your prices? No. Doesn't seem to work. Unfortunately. So yeah, we do have these protection eight leather leggings, which I think is a drop from the skeleton, no, the undead army. So we can get protection eight on a piece of gear now. Don't want to put that into the library though, because the library will only allow us to get up to protection five, I think. So this is a special way to get above and beyond the regular protection levels you'd normally be able to do. Oh, this is what you need lodestone for, to make a sigil of socketing. Which I believe uh, believe adds a socket, but I don't know what the superior sigil of socketing does. Two sockets? Huh. And any dragon's breath rip? We don't have. Wow, well, we're getting a good amount of emeralds from this though already. Nice. So why is the spawner not spawning? Is there not enough space or something? Why does it seem so light in here? It should be dark. Huh. There you go. Just took a while. Alright, so the reason we made this was just in case we ever want to farm a specific mob um, for their drops and we can collect spawners with silk touch. Obviously, they are going to be limited. It's not going to infinitely spawn. But this way, um, we can... Uh, if we have the spawn eggs, we can, you know, spawn at least a limited number of a specific mob to try and farm their drops. And obviously zombies, we need zombie flesh to level up the cleric. So that's kind of what we're doing there. And we are unfortunately running out of time. I thought once we found a cleric, it would just be an easy process of leveling up. I did not expect every single trade to require an entire stack. Um, uh, and obviously curing him didn't work, and my reputation shouldn't be bad, my reputation should be fine. I've done quite a few quests. I've only opened like a couple of chests in their view by accident the whole time. I do think villager reputation could do with a little bit of tweaking. I don't think it's quite there yet. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And it's always great to see you in the comments. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.